So hi everybody, we want to make a nice button and with the Kinter and let's see how to do it. This, this is the code and this is what you get here. We got this nice little window with a button here with these colors and when you click it, it changes the color and that's the code into the uh, window itself. So let's see how we made it. We just imported to Kinter SDK. We don't need this one. And then we created a, a window with root equal tk dot tk. And then we uh, loaded an image here with tk dot photo image. And then we used subsample to reduce its size eventually. And the image, if you want to see it, it's this one and I got other buttons here, other buttons image that you can use and then okay I made this little function here to make a uh, load the image and to reduce it and to return it and so that we can then uh, store it into this variable here emg then we create the button and we tk dot button assign it to the parent window the root window that is this and then we give it a border of zero with bd relief groove i think we don't need it if we have a zero border you see here nothing changes Mm. If we give it a border of 1, what happens? You see a border here, so it's not so nice. And if you give it a groove, you see that changes the border somehow. But if you give it 0, you just will see the image, even if you can click it. You see here a little down here. And compound TK center because it's you see the click is there if you go left the click it's not there yet here yeah it's here you can see it because it's white let me change the color to yellow and uh, the okay I change it the background instead of the foreground so so the foreground let me bring it this one to yellow and this one to white okay you see now that on the left if I go to right you can change it to right right there we go and if you go to center again you will have it here right in the middle so let's go on and then we have the background white so you don't see what's here let me go black you see it's the background is here and then we have the foreground that it's yellow is this one that goes to pink as active foreground when you activate it you can also add active active background to the black so the black will stay or to blue but if you put it to white you will not see it let me bring that to white again so if you don't want it then we have the font area 24 or 30 then we have a text click it's just the text you see on the button here click me now it's a little bigger and the paddix here is the distance from some the edge here. Let's see you we got this image too. If you wanna see it a little bigger you can go image too. You see now it's it the the text and if you go one here 
goes even bigger because this one goes into this one that is this SMP that goes in the subsample that that resizes the image here okay and then we have button config image equal image we could have put we don't have to use this we can put it here image equal image EMG let's see it it's not defined because this is uh, this is down here it's not defined yet could put it up here or I can let it configure it lately like before okay let me put this one to two a little smaller and then we pack it and then we have this text here and the label that is this text that you see down here that is the code itself and then the root dot main loop so this is the code for to make a button and see you next time